Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Hey. Here we go. I looked, I looked high, I looked low. Nothing can care. It's undeniable.
I found that to be true. There's nobody like him. Oh, he's not a man that he would lie. And he's not an idol because he can hear, he can see, he can feel, and he knows. And he speaks to us and he delivers us and he saves us and he gives us direction. There's not one thing that God cannot do. The only thing he can't do is lie. He cannot lie, but he is able to do exactly what he said he would do. He is able to perform exactly what he said he would do. Every single promise he will fulfill. Our God is amazing. Hallelujah. Yes, you are, Lord. There is no shadow that has ever overcome your light. And there is no rival that could ever stand against your might. You've always been with us. Every battle you've already won. We've already won. Let's sing this together.
That's what happens when we begin to worship and when we begin to praise. When we begin to surrender to God. I challenge you this morning, just begin to forget who's beside you. Forget what's going on around you and just get alone with you and God. And just begin to worship Him and praise Him. And you'll begin to see your mood and everything begin to change. And you'll begin to see your life begin to change because you begin to surrender and worship Him. Hey! Don't be afraid anymore! Trust in God! Hey! Trust in God! Because He's more than As fair as I sing out your name, a victory dance. I will dance out in pain. I will crush this point and break this night again. My fear, I will turn it. Shake out the sand. A victory dance.
so worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Woo. God, you're so good. You're so good to us. You've been so faithful. You've been so faithful, God. We see how you've kept us through the years. Even when we were running away from you, God, you kept us. And we were able to wake up this morning and come into your house to lift up your name. You're able, God.
how you work and there's so much goodness and grace much more than I deserve cause I know who I am I can't stay where I'm at we've come this far by faith and I just can't turn back. Cause he's not done with me yet. Hey, he's not done with me yet. Oh, there's so much more to my story. Yeah, you're not done with me. Yeah, you're not done. who are in Christ Jesus. I just have this picture of somebody in this building. Every time you take a step forward, it's like your past is holding on and you just bring it with you everywhere you go. You have one free and you have one that's just dragging you. And you don't believe that God can deliver, that he can heal, that he can set free. But his grace is sufficient for you. His grace is sufficient for you. In this moment, I just feel the presence of God so strong. If you're comfortable, would you mind just 
finding somebody just begin to pray with and agree with them right now. I see your face, but I don't know what's going on in your mind. I see you standing there, but I don't know what's going on in your heart right now. Those silent prayers you've been praying unto God. And you're holding on by a thread. His strength is perfect when ours is gone. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. He will never leave me. He will never forsake me. He is an ever-present help in the time of trouble. I will trust in the Lord with all of my heart, and I will not lean to my own understanding, but in all my ways I will acknowledge Him, and He will direct my path. Because He is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. He is my strength. He is my song. He is my hope. He is my deliverer. He is my salvation. He is the almighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. He's able. He's able. He's able. You're more than able. You're more than able. There's nothing you can't do. You're more than able. Yeah. Yeah. 
forgiveness the bitterness the grudge the wrath let it go the stress the anxiety the fear the unbelief too much for me to carry. I let go. And the situation that I can't control, it's in your hands, God. I trust. I let go. The child that has turned their back on God, and you're worried, and you're anxious, and you're afraid for them. Keep praying. God is able. Just let go of that fear. Let it go. I let go. Oh. If you never get that apology, just let it go. Just gotta let go.
got no other choice but to trust you. But where else can I go but to you? Who else can I turn to? There's nobody but you, Jesus. You're the only one that can heal our bodies. The only one that can heal my mother of cancer. You're the only one, God. You're the only one that can save my family. You're the only one, Jesus. Backed up against the wall, God. You're the only one saved. This is a designated altar area where we pray, where we seek the face of God. When the word is preached, we come down and kind of seals it in. It's also a place of consecration. Do you mind if we just come down? And I challenge you, as you come down, Whatever you have in your hand that you've been holding on to so tightly, you don't even realize it. It's just second nature to worry. It's just second nature to be anxious. It's just whatever it is. Can you just lay it down this morning at the feet of Jesus? find you a place with just you and God.
Yes, all over this sanctuary this morning, all over this altar, all over the building today. Situations that nobody else is aware of but you and God. Emotions, thoughts, desires, intentions, plans, responsibilities, things that have weighed on your mind and weighed on your heart. But here in the presence of the Lord, you and I are reminded, cast your cares, cast your cares upon me. Cast your cares upon me. Don't run from me. Run to me. Don't run from me. Run to me. Don't run from me. Run to me. Cast your cares. Cast your cares. Things that have weighed on. Things that may not even be seen, but it's just weights. Things that have held hostage in your mind. replenish our soul. You renew our mind. It's what you said you would do. It's what you said you would do. So this morning we come to you. We come to you today. You give guidance. You give instruction. You give direction. God, where no one else knows, where no one else has the map, where no one else is aware, you are. Maybe, maybe you're new to prayer. Maybe you're new to the church. How do I go about it? What do I do? You just begin to talk to God. It doesn't have to sound like anybody else's prayer. You just begin to talk to God about what's on your mind, about what's on your heart. What is it? Is it plans? Is it intentions? Is it desire? God, I just want more of you. I don't even know how to express what I'm feeling. I just want more of you. Then that's what you start with. He's real and understands. He cares and he is. Lord, I don't know. There's opportunities and there's challenges. I see it can work this way and I see it can work that way. But I don't want to take steps without your direction. So this morning, God, I lift my hands and make myself available. What way do you want me to go? What way do you want me to go for family and business? What way do you want me to go for this situation and opportunity? What way do you, come on, he's listening. You don't have to do it by yourself today. You can run to Him. You can run to Him. For those that are sick in their body, today there's healing. Lord, I pray right now for the healing virtue to flow through their body. Dear God, for some that are sick, for some that are recovering, I pray right now your presence. I pray right now you would touch them. I pray, dear God, right now every elder, every adult, every young person, every child, God, that may need healing in their body, let it be so right now in the name of Jesus. Let it be so right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be peace. Let there be strength. Let their faith right. You are a miracle working God. There is nothing too hard for you. There is nothing too difficult. There is nothing too challenging. We are your people. We are your people. If my people were here, we're here, Lord. We're here. We call upon your name. We call upon your name. We humble ourselves to you, oh God. You're the healing we need. You're the direction we need. You're the guidance we need. 
You know, and you care. And Lord, we turn to you. 